A check now on the weather and earlier this afternoon, a perfect day out at Washington Lake Park in Seoul, New Jersey. People and butterflies alike enjoying the mild temperatures and all this sunshine. And we're looking ahead to a picture perfect Tuesday, but not before some storms roll in. Meteorologist Lauren Casey joins us with her forecast. Hi, Lauren. Hey, Jess. Yes, yeah, some clouds have been rolling in over the last hour or so in Center City, Philadelphia. After all of that sunshine today, indications that yes, storms are approaching. Storm scan three showing us not everyone dealing with thunderstorm activity but we do have a severe thunderstorm warning right now in place for Chester and portions of Newcastle County. So this has just been extended by the National Weather Service until 645 for this cell that continues to move eastbound at about 35 miles per hour. A little sliver of Delaware County in this warning as well. This for the potential of 60 mile per hour winds and nickel sized tail. Also frequent lightning a potential and that torrential rainfall. You can see the heaviest rain now situated from Coatesville over Highland, Upper Oxford, continuing to stretch itself out towards London Grove, East Marlboro. You're up next as a cell continues to move your way. Also dealing with a strong cell right now positioned over Bucks, Naka Mixon, seeing some heavy rainfall activity. A few rumbles of thunder that's situated just north of Bedminster will continue to move east at again about 35 miles per hour. We do have the potential to see a couple of severe thunderstorms, mainly west of I-95 as we head into the evening hours. Marginal risk of severe weather, so category one out of five. Our best chance in the city will likely come between about eight and 10 o'clock this evening, but short range models now indicating we could still even see a few hit or miss thunderstorms persisting into the overnight period before things clear out as we head into the late overnight and giving us a quiet start to our Tuesday. Temperatures right now have some rain cool air in the Lehigh Valley. We're at 81 in Philadelphia. Temperatures in the 70s right now down the shore and still up at 80 degrees in Dover. Dew points, they're elevated a bit after getting a break from some of that humidity yesterday. We're back up into the 60s, so we're not in that excessive range, but we're definitely in the humid range today. We're going to though take a step back for tomorrow, just a little bit muggy. Check out Wednesday and Thursday. We'll be in the pleasant category with dew points likely in the 50s. Very atypical for August, and it's going to feel so nice. But for tonight, partly cloudy with some scattered thunderstorms, especially early. Low temperature falling back into the 60s. And then for our day tomorrow, starting off with some fog and some low clouds that will turn over to a mostly sunny sky by late morning. Gorgeous afternoon with a high temperature at 85 degrees. And down the shore, a nice beach day in store. Once again, sunshine 84 degrees. Degrees, no storm chance, but do watch out for that moderate risk of rip currents persisting through the day tomorrow and tomorrow evening on Wednesday. 82 degrees, maybe a chance of a spotty thunder shower south of the city, then gorgeous on Thursday. A lot of sunshine in store. Some indications that we could introduce a rain chance into Friday, but right now keeping it partly cloudy. Then we do have a chance at a few showers and thunderstorms just as we head into Saturday. But you can see that whole seven day forecast, not a 90 degree day in sight. So we're getting a break from the dog days of summer in August. Not too bad. Lauren, thank you.